In this video, I'm going to be explaining you how you can add rich text editing to your Mountain Coders blog. What we have done so far is we have laid out the foundation of the blog. We made this home page, contact page, this blog page. We saw how we can enter the HTML inside our database and how we can pull it and display it as an HTML to the user so that he can easily read the content of our blog. What I'm going to be doing now is I log into my Django admin and at the same time, what I'll do is let me write down admin here. I'm already logged in. I'll open my blogs and what I want to do at this point is I want to customize this content. I want to add rich text editing to this website. Now, if you don't know what rich text editing is, head to tiny MCE website because this is going to be the a rich text editor that I'm going to use. So if you see the title, it says the most advanced WYSIWYG. You must be thinking what it is. It is what you see is what you get. So in, in this HTML, when you type something like this, what you see is not what you get. You see this, but this is what you get. But in case of rich text editors, what happens behind the hood is it keeps the HTML away from the eyes of the users. Behind the scenes, it generates HTML, but it keeps it away from the eyes of the user. Now, what do I mean by this? Uh, let's have tiny MCE demo very quickly. So I'll go to get tiny MCE for free. It's asking for sign up. I think we can use it without signing up if I'm not wrong. You can come to tiny blog products, tiny MCE. So let me go to demos. Okay. So this is a tiny MCE demo. So if somehow I can embed this thing to my Django admin here, it would be really great because then I'll be able to write uh, and use all these bold italic underline and all these fonts features, whatever it is offering to my uh, Django admin website and no doubt it will make my life easier. So what I'll do is I will use this tiny MCE and we'll see how we'll embed to the Django admin. But you must be thinking this HTML, I'm talking about the entire page. This entire page has not been written by us. So how do we change this? Well, we'll use JavaScript to change the content of this page. How do we do that? Initially, what I'll do is I'll somehow add JavaScript to my console and test this thing. But if somehow I can add a JavaScript file, which executes when I open this page, it would really be great. So how to do that? Let's find out. But before that, I want you guys to get comfortable with rich text editor. If you haven't used rich text editor ever in your life, I want you to uh, simply select this, make it bold, make it italic, make it uh, say H3 and uh, whatever features it is offering. It's asking me for some pictures, but I don't think I want to add any picture at this point. Let me add this picture. Let me see how it goes. Okay. So uh, this picture has been added and I can save if somehow I'm able to embed it to my Django admin, but how to do all those things? Because Definitely, I'm not going to write HTML for every article that I produce. I don't want to take the burden of writing HTML and formatting the UL, LI, and this is not even giving me some sort of good editor. And definitely, I don't want to come back to Visual Studio Code, type my HTML and paste it back in here. I want some rich text editing like this. This will really make my life easy. So how to do that? Let's find out. So. What I'll do is I'll go to examples. So I'll go to basic example. I'll say leave. I don't want this content anymore. So in order to find out how to use this thing, I'll go to introduction and getting started. I'll go to basic setup. To be honest, I also don't know how to use it because it's been a long time that I've used this, but I'll tell you how to use it by looking into the documentation. So um, first of all, definitely we'll have to embed it to a website. So the first step is to copy this code and copy this HTML. And I think you are good. Now add your API key. Let me tell you something about this. So if you don't add your API key, you will see this uh, message popping up that this domain is not registered and this domain is not registered. Please register your domain. All those uh, messages will pop up. But since this is not a front end, this is not what end user will see. 
oh, we can be at that button but if you want to sign up and get your free api key you can do that but i am not doing that just for saving some time so what i'll do at this point is i'll create a new file now once again i'm creating a new file uh, it will be created somewhere inside my project but it has nothing to do with my Django project okay I'll repeat this thing this file has nothing to do with my Django project I'm just trying out tiny MCE uh, in this file okay so let me copy this thing copy code and let me paste it somewhere here okay uh, I'll save it with uh, with the name tiny.html I hope that name sounds good okay so what i'll do is i'll install an extension called live server if you haven't installed live server you can install live server okay so live server is an extension it's an amazing extension that i use to uh, see my pages reload uh, live when i change the content inside them so what i'll do is i'll click this go live button here and this is tiny quick start guide Okay, so I see this this domain is not registered with tiny cloud. Please see the startup guide and get your account and whatever. I'll close this thing because I don't want it. I don't want to register and uh, waste time. But yeah, if you want to use this in production, you can go uh, sign up with tiny MCE and get your key and get rid of that message. Okay, so let me see if this works. Yes, this works. Let me center it. Okay, cool. Let me press enter and now let me start typing something. Let me start typing something and change the font as well. Okay, some typo here, but uh, who cares? What I'll do is I'll remove bold from here. And at the same time, what I'll do is I'll make this italic. Okay, so this works. This works pretty well. Okay, so what I'll do now is I want this thing to somehow appear inside my say this Django admin now a question is why does this thing show up like this here let's understand the code that we just wrote so inside this code what we did is we added this script that was provided by tiny mce and then we said okay initialize my uh, text area with id my text area so this is a text area with this id so what we are saying is we are saying that we want to use rich text editing inside my text area inside the text area which has the id my text area and everything is automatically done by tiny mce behind the scenes okay so if somehow i'm able to add this script on this particular page in my django admin and if somehow I'm able to find out the ID of this content, I'll be able to add rich text editing to my Django admin. So my question to you guys is, is that thing clear to you? The ID here is ID underscore content. So I can target it with this ID. But before that, I need to inject this script inside this page somehow. So well, in order to add a script inside Django admin, so in order to add the script to our backend, which is the page where we saw that content text area, we'll come to our models.py and we'll come to our admins.py, admin.py, sorry, it's admin.py. And what we'll tell Django is that, hey Django, could you please add this JavaScript file to my say Django admin page, which contains this model, which is this particular page uh, with blog model how do we do that this is a good question and let's find out how to do that so i'll close this thing okay so in order to add some custom javascript or css to this page what i'll do is i'll come back to my visual studio code and i'll add some static javascript to static folder so let me create a folder inside this static and inside this js what i'll do is i'll add uh, say blog.js and at the same time, what I'll do is I'll add another folder called CSS. If at all, I, I want to add some CSS to my Django blog uh, or rather this uh, this particular page, which contains the change blog text and all these text areas. I can come back to this page and uh, I can add the CSS just like I'm adding this JS. So I'll tell you how to add CSS. And at the same time, I'll also tell you how to add javascript so what i'll do is i'll say console.log this is blog.js 
So if we see this executed inside the console, that means that we are able to successfully add this blog.js file to the model. In order to add this blog.js file on this particular page, what I'll do is I'll come back to my admin.py and what I'll do is I'll say class. So let me write class. I'll say blog admin. And what I'll do is I'll inherit it from admin dot model admin. And then what I'll do is I'll say class. And again, I'll say media. Now this media is an inner class. Inside this media, I can declare what sort of files do I need to add to my models. I'll say add CSS files. I can say add this particular JS file or whatever I want I can do using this media inner class. Now how do I add CSS files? So all you have to do is you have to say CSS is equal to, you have to initialize this dictionary and you have to say all. And at the same time, what you have to do is you have to just add the file name, which is uh, inside this CSS folder. So what I'm doing is I'm giving the path inside the static folder to this uh, CSS file. Okay, so I'll say main.css. Let me add this main.css file. So main.css and at the same time what I'll do is uh, and let me say h1 color red. I'm using this funky color so that I can see that the CSS has been added to my page or not. Now what I'll do is I'll say js is equal to and I'll give the name of the JavaScript file which I want to add. So what I'll do is I'll say js slash blog.js and let me reload this page and check the console. So there are two messages in the console, but I think this page has not yet been added to uh, to this blog admin. All right, so there are a few things I want to fix here. Firstly, I want to uh, move this thing right after I create this class, and I'll also have to register blog admin. And now what I'll do is I'll also add a comma here. Note that the commas are necessary because this tuple contains only one item. And when a Python tuple contains only one item, what you'll have to do is you'll have to add a comma. It is necessary, okay? So let's restart the server once again. And let's see what we have. Let's see if we see this message inside this uh, Chrome console or not. So we don't have this message. Let's see if we have this static file. Uh, I'll say 127.0.0.1 slash static slash blog.js. Okay, so I think a static URL is not yet configured. Uh, okay, so I, I'll, I'll have to say js slash blog.js. Okay, so there's some problem with the static URL. So let's go to mountain coder settings.py. And at the same time, what we'll do is we'll see if we have the static files uh, dirs. I think it's called static files dirs that we'll have to set. Okay, so it was here static files dirs. Okay, it's called static files dirs. I'll copy it from here. And let me copy it from the Django documentation. So these are the things that you'll not remember always. You'll have to come back to documentation and you'll have to copy paste it from here. Uh, so do not hesitate from copy pasting all these things. Let me search it. Okay, it's here. Let me find about it. Let me click this and see where I land. Okay, so here it is. So this is a list of all the directories which will contain your static files. Okay, so we'll have to add it here. Let me add it here and I'll add just one file uh, folder. Sorry, I'll say static is going to be the folder where I'll have all my static files. And let me see if this works now. Oh, yes, it works. And let me see if this works now. So I'll have to restart my Django. And let me see if it works. It doesn't work. There is something wrong. I think I'm not able to add this blog.js. Okay, so let me see what went wrong here. I have not saved this admin.py first of all. Uh, if I reload this, okay. So we have this, this is the blog.js and our h1 has also been changed to red color. So quite a struggle there, but again, we are able to successfully add this JavaScript file to a Django model. So all we did was we created this blog admin class, then we created a media inner class, and then we added the CSS dictionary and JS tuple. And you must be wondering where I got all this from. 
So I just recall it out of my head because I have been coding in Django since a very long time. But if you had to internet and you search customizing the Django admin file, let's so I had to internet and say Django model admin add CSS and JS and let me see if I am uh, directed to this page or not. I think I have already uh, visited this page once and let me jump to model admin options and let me see if I can get that CSS. Uh, okay, so here it is. Uh, we have this model admin asset definitions and it tells me that I can add this uh, name of the model and then admin and then the inner class called media and then CSS and JS. But for now, I think we are good. We don't have to navigate to the documentation and spend time there. What I'll do now is I'll add some JavaScript to this blog.js so that we can see our um, tiny MCE inside our Django blog model. Okay. So what I'll do at this point is I'll change my blog.js so that I'm targeting my tiny MCE to work on this content text area. So what I'll do is I'll come back to my Visual Studio code and let me head to blog.js. So what I want to do here is I'll add the tiny MCE script first. And then what I'll do is I'll say I want to add tiny MCE to this content text area and not to any other tiny MCE or hashtag text area or whatever the default thing tiny MCE provides is. Also, what I'll do is I'll change this color back to normal. So I'll head to my CSS file that I created main.css and in future if I have to change my Django uh, admin interface I can come back to the CSS and make changes here. So I hope you guys understood how tiny MCE work in the next video. We'll come back and we'll see how to integrate tiny MCE to this content. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And at the same time, if you haven't already accessed this playlist, I want you guys to do that. Uh, this is the playlist where I'm adding the videos uh, consistently and I'm adding all the videos corresponding to this uh, Django blog to this playlist. So I want you guys to access this playlist as soon as possible. Also, if possible, please give me a like and share this playlist with your friends. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time.